Good morning, everyone. My name is Loris De Giovanni. I'm a CTO and founder of Sysdig. Sysdig is the leader in container, Kubernetes, and uh, cloud security. I'm also the original uh, creator and one of the maintainers of uh, Falco. Falco is uh, the CNCF uh, uh, runtime security tool, and it's essentially the de facto component for runtime security in Kubernetes and for containers. Today, we're going to talk about uh, GitHub. In general, if I were to ask you the following question in, in, in your job, what is your most valuable asset other than people, of course? Probably uh, many of you would answer my source code, and probably many of you, I guess the majority of you, have your source code in GitHub or in, in general in some kind of uh, Git repositories. So my question at this point is, uh, are your repositories safe? Uh, this is the place where your most important thing is. This is also a prime target, typically, for attacks. So there are several uh, areas, several categories of threats uh, that uh, your source code repositories are subject to. Examples, pushing secrets in a GitHub repository. This is something that uh, happens routinely despite uh, uh, the checks that we put in place to, to prevent it and countless uh, major breaches, including recent ones, like there was a Toyota one like last week, uh, are caused by you know, some team members just committing a secret, a password, a key or something on a repository. Another example is uh, running GitHub Actions with miners. This is something that uh, is becoming more and more of an issue. GitHub is giving us more and more flexibility to complement our code repositories and the events that can happen on these code repositories with actions that are actually executed on a computing pool that is uh, offered to us by, by GitHub. Of course, whenever there's a computing pool where you can execute arbitrary actions and code, then there's a risk for somebody internal or external to abuse that and uh, use it for things that it wasn't uh, designed for, like, for example, running GitHub miners, which is something pretty common uh, and it's been uh, abused uh, in, in a public visible way multiple times. Uh, another example is uh, mistakenly pu publishing a private repository, you know, that feeling when you discover that uh, somebody published the, the wrong repository and your code maybe <laughs> with secrets inside is uh, publicly uh, available online. Uh, yes, GitHub asks you to confirm, to type the name of the repository when you take an action like that. And yes, this still happens. For example, it happened to me a few years ago. And I tell you, it's not, it's not a pleasant feeling. So uh, what is, how can we detect and protect from threats like this? Uh, one possible approach that I'm going to talk about in these few minutes that, that I have is using Falco. As I was mentioning, Falco is uh, what I often describe as the security camera for modern applications. Falco typically listens on your containerized Kubernetes-based endpoints. Uh, it captures a bunch of signals, for example, system calls, and it's a, it's, uh, it has a detection engine that is able to give you alerts. So it detects bad stuff and gives you alerts. Falco traditionally has been designed to protect containers and pods and namespaces and services on Kubernetes. But recently, we have uh, released a GitHub plugin so that you can have the same type of real-time runtime security that Falco is based on, but for GitHub. Let's uh, see how it works. So I actually have a, a virtual machine here where I'm just going to run, you know, my local copy of Falco. And I run it configured essentially to connect to my test GitHub repository. I can see that immediately Falco tells me, you know, that uh, uh, it's connected to the repository. In fact, if I go to my repository, I can see that now Falco automatically under the hood has created a webhook to collect data from this repository. Now, if I go in the repository and for example, you know, I have this uh, minor action, which, uh, 
uh, is just you know running XMRig, a well-known miner. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to run this action manually in my repository. The action is started. And I can see that right away, Falco was able to listen, essentially, to what was happening in that repository, repository and tell me that uh, a, an action with cri crypto miners was executed and tell me the name of the repository, the name of the file, and all of the information that I need. Uh, another example is uh, I have uh, you know, a little, little piece of source code in this repository, so let me uncomment, you know, uh, I'm uh, uh, just committing a AWS hash in this repository, and then let me just uh, push it to the repository. And uh, again here, you see, one or more secrets were pushed into a private repository. It's telling me the file, it's telling me the line, I can, you know, even go and uh, if I want, you know, browse and uh, go take a look exactly where that line was committed in my repository. So. Uh, Falco is essentially able to dynamically do this for me. And as you can see, I get a reaction immediately, in real time, in a matter of few seconds. So that's the beauty of a runtime security tool like Falco. We are used to deploy this kind of runtime security tools to detect that somebody spawns a shell in, inside one of my pods in Kubernetes. But you can, as you can see, the process is applicable to other stuff as well. And Falco has many plugins that can interface with, with the different tools of your ecosystem to do this kind of detections. Falco is based uh, on a simple rule engine, so I can actually, you know, these are the rules, for example, this was, this is, was the rule uh, that uh, Falco used to detect miners. So it's just a YAML file that I can go, I can edit, I can modify, I can uh, add my own rules. For example, here in this file, I customized it with just a simple rule that, uh, you know, the condition detects when a GitHub action of, of type star it has been created. So essentially, this is when somebody starred my repository. So if I go here and I star my repository, as you can see, uh, immediately Falco is uh, uh, able to detect that and show me in real time that I got a star from user El Dejo. So as you can see, very easy, very simple. A rule is nothing else than a condition and the output that I want to see when that condition is met. So creating GitHub rules for your needs is going to be very easy. Um, in general, uh, Falco is uh, free. It's open source. It's CNCF. Uh, we are looking, hopefully, to uh, graduate the tool uh, in the next few months. So I uh, recommend that everybody takes, the look, takes a look. Uh, it can really be helpful for this kind of scenario. Uh, just one last thing. Uh, we are having a Falco party tonight. It's at the Firebird Tavern, not far from here. So if you want to come, meet Falco developers, learn more, or just socialize and uh, have a nice drink with friends, please join us tonight. Also, uh, this afternoon, we'll uh, have, uh, I think, uh, starting at 1 p.m., a session with the Falco developers uh, where you can go and ask questions and ask your, their help or learn the roadmap and so on. So come see us, come meet with us. We're really here and we're really eager to, to meet with you. Thank you very much. Have uh, a great uh, day uh, and have a great KubeCon and I will see you around. There's, there's one question. The 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Uh, 1 p.m. Where, where is the 1 p.m. event? Y which room? Uh, we'll uh, everybody's looking. I, 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 <laughs> I, will, I will let you know in a second. Thank you very much.